Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Continuous Bladder Irrigation Introduction Continuous bladder irrigation, or CBI, is the infusion of a sterile solution into the urinary bladder. The purpose of CBI is to prevent the formation of blood clots after surgery. CBI can also help urine flow normally. This program explains CBI. It discusses the anatomy of the urinary system, what to expect during CBI, and risks and complications of the procedure. The urinary system. The urinary tract helps your body remove wastes and extra water. The urinary tract includes two kidneys, two ureters, a urinary bladder, a urethra. The kidneys are a pair of organs. Each kidney is about the size of a fist. They are located toward the middle of the back and below the ribs, one on each side of the spine. The kidneys filter the blood to remove waste products. Urine travels from the kidneys down two narrow tubes to the bladder. These tubes are called the ureters. The bladder is a balloon-like organ that stores urine. Urine is emptied through the urethra, which is a tube at the bottom of the bladder. When the bladder empties, a muscle called the sphincter relaxes and urine flows out of the body through the urethra. Reasons for CVI your healthcare provider may recommend continuous bladder irrigation for several reasons. CBI may be done after prostate or bladder surgery. It can prevent urinary tract obstruction and urination problems. CBI can also flush out small blood clots that form after surgery. CBI can dissolve bladder calculi or bladder stones. Bladder stones are masses of minerals that form in your bladder. Small bladder stones sometimes pass on their own, but you may need to have others removed. Left untreated, bladder stones can cause infections and other complications. In some cases, CBI may be used to treat irritated, inflamed, or infected bladder lining. The procedure can be done to administer medicine to the bladder. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Procedure Before continuous bladder irrigation, a catheter will be placed in your bladder. CBI uses a three-way system with a triple lumen catheter. A lumen is a port that connects to the catheter and lies outside the body. A triple lumen catheter has three separate ports. Each of the three lumens has a specific purpose. One lumen is used to drain urine. One lumen is used to inflate the catheter balloon. One lumen carries the irrigation solution to the bladder. Your healthcare provider will use an irrigation flask for CBI. An irrigation flask is often a bag of sterile saline. The solution may also contain medicine in some cases. The irrigation flask is connected to one of the lumens of the catheter so the saline solution can run continuously through the bladder. The irrigation flask is hung on an IV pole and prepped for use. The irrigation lumen is cleansed with an alcohol swab. The irrigation tubing is then attached to the irrigation lumen. Your healthcare provider will first remove the old drainage bag from the catheter lumen. He or she will measure the amount of urine in the drainage bag before emptying it. A new catheter drainage bag is attached to one of the lumens. Your healthcare provider will make sure the catheter is not blocked and that urine can drain freely into the drainage bag. When urine starts to drain, your healthcare provider will start the bladder irrigation by unclamping the irrigation tubing. During CBI, your healthcare provider will monitor the color of your urine the level of hematuria or blood in your urine, your urine output, 
Tell your health care provider right away if you feel any pain, discomfort, or anxiety during the procedure. CBI treatments may take a few days. Risks and Complications Continuous bladder irrigation is a safe procedure, but like any procedure, there are risks. Potential problems caused by CBI include catheter blockage, discomfort during the procedure, urinary tract infections. If the catheter becomes blocked, manual bladder irrigation may be needed. Manual bladder irrigation involves flushing a urinary catheter by hand with a catheter-tipped syringe in normal saline. In some cases, your catheter may need to be replaced. Discomfort during CBI may be caused by urinary retention or the inability to empty the bladder. If this problem is not corrected, you may experience symptoms including fainting, fast heartbeat, low blood pressure, sweating. More serious complications of urinary retention may include organ damage, death. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Continuous bladder irrigation, or CBI, is the infusion of a sterile solution into the bladder. The purpose of CBI is to prevent the formation of blood clots after surgery. CBI can also help urine flow normally. CBI may be done after prostate or bladder surgery. It can prevent urinary tract obstruction and urination problems. CBI can dissolve bladder calculi, or bladder stones. In some cases, CBI may be used to treat irritated, inflamed, or infected bladder lining. Before continuous bladder irrigation, a catheter will be placed in your body. CBI uses a three-way system with a triple lumen catheter. A lumen is a port that connects to the catheter and lies outside the body. A triple lumen catheter has three separate ports. Each of the three lumens has a specific purpose. One lumen is used to drain urine. One lumen is used to inflate the catheter balloon. One lumen carries the irrigation solution to the bladder. During CBI, your healthcare provider will monitor the color of your urine, the level of hematuria or blood in your urine, your urine output. Continuous bladder irrigation is a safe procedure, but like any procedure, there are risks. Potential problems caused by CBI include catheter blockage, discomfort during the procedure, urinary tract infections. Thank you for using Explain.